What's going on, Gemini? How are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic, and this is going to be your reading for the week of April 15th to the 21st, 2024. So in this reading, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy for the upcoming week. We're going to take a look at some things you do not see coming. We're also going to get some advice for you from your angels and spirit guides and so much more regarding April 15th to the 21st, 2024. So without further ado, I am going to pull the energy for you and we'll see what is coming your way this week. As always, I would like to thank the angels the interdimensional beings and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Gemini. Oh gosh. Hold on. Thanks. All right, Gemini. So uh, before we get into the tarot, let's go ahead and start this reading off with some pre-shuffled oracle cards from the universe. And these are some messages from spirit for you regarding the upcoming week and some themes, some energy that spirit wants you to really be aware of and to remember as you go into this week. So let's show you them in successive order. You have the sun of identity and personality. It really represents your soul. Many of you listening will have your sun in Gemini. So this represents you, it's your identity, it's the life force energy that animates your physical body. It also represents clarity and masculine energy. You also have the trine of support and inspiration. And a trine in astrology is like a built-in aspect of harmony. It, it's a aspect that links to planets or bodies that are in the same element. So like a fire, like Mars in Aries, trine, uh, the moon in Sagittarius. Like they're both fire signs, so they effortlessly flow with each other. So there's definitely some sort of effortless flow that spirits calling to your attention. And funny enough, the final energy is Lilith, which has to do with wild femininity. And for the returning viewers, for, I did a monthly reading for you the month of April, you had Lilith. And so obviously you're not done with this theme. Lilith is someone who does not uh, really submit to anyone else. And it represents someone who has a wild side. It can re represent taboo subjects, even sexual taboo subjects here. And what I didn't mention last time is that Lilith represents how you deal with conflict resolution, okay? And so I feel for many of you with the sun trying Lilith, the number one thing is that you have an opportunity this week to effortlessly do your own thing, regardless of what anyone thinks about it. You know, this is about you embracing your dark side. You know, Lilith represents your dark side. It's like the things that you'd rather not look at. And so for you this week, it's like all about bringing clarity, the sun energy to your dark side, okay? But it also represents how you deal with conflict resolution. And with the sun trine Lilith, I really feel like for some of you, you're gonna be acting as some sort of peacemaker with people around you, or you may even be able to bring harmony uh, to a conflict that you're in this week pretty effortlessly. Okay, and for some of you, it might have to do with just refusing to take crap from anyone. Like, I like a uh, good mantra for a lot of you this week is I don't take crap from anyone. Anyone, you know, that's Lilith, Adam, God, Mystic, no. So it's like, don't take crap from anyone this week, but there's definitely an effortless way that you can explore your dark side this week, is what I really feel. Some of you, um, there's definitely going to be something about sorting through illusion when it comes to your own authentic expression here that may you may be suppressing you may have been suppressing something for a long time so we're going to get into it in a moment uh 
to get into the tarot, your opportunity is the Ace of Wands, which is very much so having to do with passion and a new passionate beginning. It has to do with the suit of fire, authenticity, and a new beginning. I like to think of the Ace of Wands as like uh, a divine message from the universe where it, it's very exciting. So above all else, follow your inspiration, follow your highest excitement is your opportunity. I sense that for many of you, there is an illusion Okay, and it could represent a person in your life that you don't want to upset. There is an illusion that is causing you to suppress your true authenticity, to cause you to suppress your dark side, your Lilith energy. And I feel like the opportunity is to break through that this week. Like, don't take crap from anyone. This may be a time for some of you to, to like enter into conflict resolution and be like a mediator. But for others of you, it actually may be to call, to say, I don't care how you feel about this. This is what I need to do for me. You know what I mean? Your challenge is the Knight of Wands in reverse. And so I feel like the Knight of Wands in reverse is an energy of someone who talks a big game but doesn't back it up. It could also... The challenge could be to not overdo your excitement. The Knight of Wands is someone who's like, I want to fly to a, I want to book a flight to La, to Las Vegas right now. Let's do it. And they just like they don't think about it. They instantly act on their passion. So I feel like with this being here in your opportunity and your challenge, it's like act on your you know follow your highest excitement, but everything in measure, you know like everything in balance if that's possible for you this week. Here's where it gets really interesting. Um, your overall general energy is the Ten of Wands, the Seven of Cups in reverse, and the Queen of Cups here. So the Ten of Wands for me is standing out as suppression or feeling like you are carrying a burden. It deals with like you have a you have a monkey on your back. You have a, there's a bird there's something burdening you this week, okay? And I feel like it has to do with the the life force energy that animates your physical body. There could be something that is causing that to shut down, okay? Um, you have the seven of cups in reverse, which is about like, there's some sort of illusion or there's like a very difficult choice that needs to be made on an emotional level. And then you have the queen of cups, which has to do with unconditional love and like the mothering instinct and could have to do with someone who has a lot of love for you or you have a lot of love for, but there's an illusion in the way. Now, what I really feel from this is that what truly belongs to you weighs nothing. What truly belongs to you weighs nothing. And I feel like for many of you, you may be suppressing your true self out of emotion, out of an emotional appeal. There could also be someone around you who you, Gemini, if you know that you're not suppressing, for sure, then I do feel like there's a one-to-one -one relationship that you're in, okay, or that you will be in this week, that you are gonna be the one helping someone uh, navigate what they are suppressing within themselves because someone is suppressing something and it's an illusion. You can't be happy if you're not being your true self. You know, like people who are depressed is like you're not being your full self and so the energy can't flow through your body like with the sun energy here. So for some of you, you need to be honest whether you're going to be helping someone with this or it's you. And for some, some of you, it could be a mirror where there's kind of like a, a reflection going on here. But for many of you here... Uh, you have been suppressing your true self maybe because of your you're very you think that it will be worse than it really is if you ex if you explore this side of yourself lilith here um and for many of you you'll be like dealing with conflict resolution uh on a very deep level here so i don't know let's go ahead and move to what you don't see coming what are you doing marlon <laughs> all right um what you don't see coming, you have the Four of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Five of Cups here, and what you don't see coming here. All right, and there's a high risk that a lot of you will be dealing with someone who is compartmentalizing their consciousness, or it will be you. And what I mean by compartmentalizing is like a rationalization in order to not look at a side of yourself because it doesn't fit in alignment with your identity. Some of your identity, there could be someone around you who like who you believe you are. This is my identity could be the very thing holding you back the most here. Um, but in what you don't see coming, there's a lot of emotional turmoil. For many of you, you're going to start out the week. This is either you or someone that is who is continuing to suppress their true desires, your true emotional desires, your true physical desires. And by the end of the week, it's going to become obvious that this is not working. 
and there needs to be some, you know, attention. The Queen of Swords is all about someone who is very logical, and I feel like there's going to be a logical decision that we need to confront our sadness, our, like our emotional pain right now, because someone, there's definitely a burden, an illusion. For some of you in your one-to-one -one relationships, uh, you have entered into a, a, a deep relation. This could be a friend. It could be someone around you. I'm sensing who you're in a relationship with someone who is not fully themselves. And so they could be like projecting things onto you, criticizing you because it's really coming from an unintegrated part within themselves. But for many of you, um, in order to really move with this sun and Lilith, like bringing clarity to wild femininity, or even if you're a man listening to this, it's your taboo side. Uh, it's the side, it's your dark side here. Um, there's definitely that you, it's almost like you can't escape it anymore. It's just going to become so obvious here is what I really feel. Okay. Um, I had something else to say, but it went away. Hopefully it comes back. All right. Um, hmm. Yeah. So let's go to your advice. Your advice is the star, the queen of pentacles in reverse, and also the page of swords here. So the star has to do with regeneration, healing, wish fulfillment. The queen of pentacles in reverse has to do with uh, some earthly person gone wrong, or there could be some, there could be too much of an attachment to the physical world. This could be someone around you. This could be an attachment to money. This could be an attachment to status or a physical identity. Oh, I won't look good if I express my true self. I won't look good. This will ruin my fa financial situation. And so the Page of Swords is all about getting more information and questioning things. So I feel like in your advice is to really question your physical identity and how much of it is just like what you what you think will make you look good versus what's real. You know what I mean? Like there's a, there's a quote from a movie coming into my head of like, you'd rather look good and lose than look bad and win. You'd rather look good and lose than look weird and unconventional and actually win in life. And like, this is what spirit is saying to you, or this is spi what spirit is advising you to help someone with who is around you. You may need to say to someone, hey, you'd rather look good and lose. What's wrong with you? Or like, you'd rather look good and be inauthentic. You might have to call someone out, but if that's not the case, then I'm calling you out. You know what I mean? Or I'm not, I, I'm just the messenger. Don't, don't shoot mercury here. Okay. Um, and so, and, and, and many of you, uh, when it comes to suppression, when it comes to a truth about potentially your own sexuality or your own passion, because that's what the suit of wands has to do with, if you have been suppressing something for a very long time, and you finally have the courage to explore that. And it doesn't matter what it is. It could be an edgy side to your personality. It could be, I want to start this hobby. It could be something sexual. It could be anything. But when you finally, uh, it's like the, the guy who has a midlife crisis and he's like, I haven't played guitar in 40 years, but I'm doing it now. It's always going to be awkward and it can actually lead to a lot of, um, you might have to process a lot of emotions and offer unconditional love to someone or to yourself, Gemini, is what I really feel this week. Because when you finally stop suppressing and you allow yourself to, to explore what you're truly passionate about, even if it looks dark, even if it looks like, you know, you're a bad person to other people who are like morally programmed or something like that, uh, there's going to be a time where you don't feel okay. You're like, this is worse. I was better off suppressing. I was better, but no. You just need to process it and move through it because you're move, you're sorting through an illusion is what I really feel here, Gemini. And like, if I were to like do a reading for someone and I saw in their birth chart that their son was trying their Lilith, I'd be like, hey, you are not going to be a goody two shoes. There's no way around it. You are going to have to integrate your dark side. But the thing about the trine is that it's effortless and it, it doesn't require any effort. So that's why, like, don't overthink this. Uh, it's like, don't be in the mind here. It's all about the suit of, like, it's all about being in the body. Like, lose your mind and come to your senses. Some of you are so dis... Uh, some of you are not inside of your body and you're too in the head. Or you're too worried, you know, to even consider this as a possibility. 
Um, okay, so let's just go ahead and start clarifying this reading. All right, let's clarify why the uh, Ace of Wands is your opportunity. Why is the Ace of Wands your opportunity? The Ace of Wands is clarified by the Ten of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Queen of Swords here in your opportunity. Wow. So yeah, there's some sort of new exciting thing that you need to do or you need to encourage someone to do around you to be their true self regardless of what anyone thinks about it because it's in alignment with you that is really going to dis disturb or destroy your current wish fulfillment or this could this could really wound people who have a certain expectation of who you are the 10 of uh, cups has to do with a happily ever after family unit. So this could people be people in your family who are absolutely heartbroken when they get the news of what you're up to this week in terms of you following your own authentic expression. There could be, pe your opportunity could really be to like say, I don't care about it. I, I don't care. You know what I mean? And, and you also have the queen of swords and the three of swords here. So I feel like there's an opportunity to make a decision that no matter how much this hurts or no matter how much you have to process, you must be on the side of truth here. You must, you know, because the Ace of Wands isn't the sword, it isn't the Ace of Swords, the sword of truth, but it's like, it's your truth, your fiery truth. And for some of you, it's gonna disturb your long-term plans. If it's not people around you that it's gonna disturb, if it's not an existing situation that it's gonna disturb, it's gonna disturb your long-term happily ever after frequency because right now your happily ever after frequency is literally keeping up with the joneses for some of you and you wonder why you're not happy because you've been suppressing your truth for your whole life and it's going to be different things for different gemini's here and uh it's almost like yeah so let's clarify why the ten of wands is in your overall general energy i feel like there's definitely an end to suppression that may lead to a period of confusion because when you stop suppressing then you're like, well, we have to figure it out. How do we explore it? So it's like the Ten of Wands to the Seven of Cups in reverse. I'm going to stop suppressing, but now I'm even more confused than I was before. It's okay, okay? Like, the people around you may not be clapping for you, but the angels are. I am, you know what I'm saying? Whatever this is, uh, definitely has to do with something that you feel you won't, it won't look good in the eyes of society or people around you or even to yourself. You have, you have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse here. Like, the Ten of Wands is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So, hmm, this is like your legacy, or there could be like something that you're living for the material world. I just want to, you know, I, I couldn't possibly be wild if I had a business, or, you know, how is this going to affect my business plans? And it's interesting that your opportunity is the Three of Swords to the Ten of Cups, and then the Ten of Wands is clarifying the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like there's like a like a BS reason that you're giving yourself to not act on your passion or to keep something suppressed. Or this is someone around you that you're observing this week and you're really meant to help and be a moderator for. Um, you know, it's a complete BS thing. Like, oh my God, what will the government think? I will, or what will my, fr you know, it's just whatever reason you're using, it could be financial. Uh, if I explore this, then everyone will be able to not do business with me anymore. It, I, I just feel like it's BS, to be honest with you. Um, or you're holding on to like the idea of like, I'm going to suppress everything just for 10 of pentacles in reverse, a legacy that's not making me happy. So like some of you are suppressing your truth for it to remain in a legacy that is literally making you miserable. Okay. Um, let's clarify why the uh, five of cups is here and what you don't see coming. Five of Cups is clarified by the world, an end of a cycle. So you will get a reward for dealing with your emotional baggage and your emotional pain. Yeah. Okay. So the Five of Cups and what you don't see coming is clarified by the world and the Four of Cups here. So there's an end to a cycle when it comes to your emotions. And I feel like it's like you cannot or someone around you or you cannot keep 
look, it's like the universe is, is, is giving you your desire. It's like, hey, Gemini, we keep having this in your consciousness, but no, I keep suppressing it because it wouldn't make me look good. It's not, I'm not a good prayer, like blah, 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 blah. Uh, you're gonna stop doing that. And like, what comes after the Four of Cups? The Five of Cups. So um, there's definitely an upgrade. You will receive a gift or a reward for what you are dealing with here. Um, but I don't know, it's not gonna be easy, whether you're helping someone with this or it's you. Um, let, I just want to clarify the Seven of Cups in reverse in your overall general energy as well. Like, what is this absolute Delulu thing? What is this delusion about? Some of you feel like there's no one out there that will accept you because the Seven of, uh, or it will affect your finances negatively. Hold on. <sighs> yeah, the... Seven of Cups in reverse is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles here. So I feel like for some of you, you have like a delusion that I'm going to be all on my own when I, f when I finally start uh, following my this truth of mine. And for some of you with your existing relationships, that might be true. You know, you might, people from your past might not support you, but if they're supporting a fake version of you, then you're not even in a relationship with them. You're just in a relationship with a character. Um, you also have the Sun, the Knight of Wands, and also the Two of Wands here. It's interesting that you have the, the Knight of Wands in reverse as your challenge. So I feel like there's being cl clarity being brought to whatever fiery adventure that you need to go on here. And uh, I don't think, I think some of you are like, huh, I don't know. I don't know, Gemini. Let's just keep going. Um, let's clarify that Knight of Wands in reverse since it came out clarifying the Seven of Cups in reverse. Why is the Knight of Wands in reverse in your challenge? You have the moon and the page of cups here. So a lot of you here, uh, you could feel like as you start to follow your passion or as you allow, or as you help someone around you who's doing this, you know, you could feel like it's an immature lost cause, like the moon, oh my God, I'm never gonna figure it out. It's too complicated. Um, or like the moon has to do with you know, the shadow side, the unconsciousness, the unconscious side. And the Page of Cups has to do with immaturity or someone who is trying to figure it out, someone who's very gullible here. So I would say you need to be conscious of how you bring your authentic truth to the world or you need to be careful of how you do this. I'm not encouraging you to just be reckless to follow your passion or to release your wild side or to deal with conflict resolution for people. Um, it's like very important who you choose to like share this with or who you choose to move forward with if it involves another person. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. Um, there could also be, yeah, I feel like this is still suppression or something like that. This could really take you back to your childhood. Let's just get some advice for you, okay? Let's clarify what a star is in your advice. The star in your advice is clarified by the hanged man and the page of wands here. So I feel like this is surrendering to your fiery adventure that you have in front of you um, or looking at it from a different perspective. You know, something definitely, you know, the, the hanged man is all about surrendering. It's a moment of enlightenment. And the page of wands has to do with, you know, immature behavior, but it also is a fun, loving, adventurous spirit who's very fun. And it's like with the ace of wands being your opportunity and the page of wands being in your advice next to the hanged man, clarifying the star. It's like, there's definitely a, 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 a passionate new beginning that you need to surrender to in your life, even if it throws off your plans or makes you mentally or emotionally uncomfortable. You know, it's not always fun to advance in this reality, you know what I mean? Um, so let's just clarify what the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse for the last card. Ooh. Wow, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is clarified by the, the Hermit and the Two of uh, Cups. So I feel like there's a deep, deep truth about you or about someone that you're really going to have to be gentle with and really let it marinate this truth here about how someone is t 
to attack, you know, you have the 10 of pentacles in reverse in your overall general energy. You have the queen of pentacles in reverse in your advice. There's something not correct. There could be someone who's just attached to material possessions or I want to look good. You're more concerned with looking good and, and or looking good and losing instead of being concerned with winning or being authentic and looking bad. I feel like there's some, whether it's you or you're helping someone with this, this is what's going on. I would say be gentle if you're the one who's moderating this or, or helping a, a close loved one with this because some of you definitely this is what this is about now you also have the justice card and the and the judgment card so this is about karma balance to the realm of thought and this is judgment day you know it, it, for some of you here it's really it's now or never you know it's like you have the chance to break out of an illusion or a delusion or disillusionment and if you don't do it this week it might be like very difficult for you going forward so with that being said, I'm going to conclude this reading. I hope that it helped you, John.